is a song I wrote it was probably midnight and I was just in a very philosophical state and it's pretty much about how you can find faith anywhere you don't need a building or a person you have a direct line of communication with whatever you believe um, and that's that's where living room blues and faith uh, came from when I was just kind of thinking one day about how freeing it would be to live fearlessly um, without regrets to own every decision and not, you know, sit there and 
trouble myself with what if I had done this, what if I had done that differently, just living fearlessly without regret. Um, but then also thinking of how destructive that can be. And so I think hurricane is just about, you know, the eternal struggle of finding the balance between being in control and living fearlessly. If I were fearless, I'd be limitless. Cross every line in that sand and never ask for forgiveness. I'd raise all the stakes just to watch them all fall down. And I'd do it all for the pain. If I were she had written and then she wrote hearts on fire and that became my favorite one and i love it from the songwriting standpoint because we do harmonies throughout it it's fast paced it's really fun but it puts a something rare out there because it puts a really positive spin on breakups well because at the end of the day you know you gotta keep living yeah you, you gotta, have to overcome you got power through you know and it's just a a classic yeah. country song about heartbreak and living. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, just like doing your thing and yeah, and uh, getting through it and coming out better on the other side. That's right, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I got a hole in my heart the size of Texas. Middle sweet as Georgia on my mind. Country song I can put it all to explain how hard it is to leave you behind. So I'm gonna dance to the only place I know. Thanks. 
vintage. That's vintage right there. That's vintage Rebecca Day music. Yeah, her, the recording I have, she wasn't even playing with me yet. You're not even on the recording because we had not even formed the Crazy Daisies yet. Because it's on my, my debut EP back in like 2011, I think, now here. And uh, that song was the first song I ever wrote I was comfortable with recording. And it's just a song about, um, to draw from what Jennifer said about Hurricane, living fearlessly, accepting everything you've been through, and not letting it, that be something that controls you, but that you control that and then where you go from there in life. It's a, it's a destiny kind of, kind of song, so. But that's, it's a, it's a, it's a Daisy favorite. We get that requested a lot. Oh yeah. It's, it's definitely one of the top requested songs. Yeah. And then later in life, you're like, that's where it came. It's weird. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. very weird. Mm-hmm. But that song um, I wrote also very quickly, kind of like Burn Out the Slam, like 20 minutes. And um, it's just an unrequited love song. It's that 
that country ballad about you're going through a breakup and you're still thinking about that person. You're not quite over it. You're working through it. And it's a very honest conversational song about those moments you have when you're by yourself and you really start thinking about it. And I think it puts it out there that like, it's okay to go through the motions and do what you need to do yeah. to get through it. You know, some sometimes I feel like some of that is sort of like taboo. Like you're not supposed to, you know, put it out there, like how you're dealing with, you know, people ask you all the time, how are you doing? It's like, I'm doing okay. They, like, that's the answer you're supposed to yeah, you're I'm supposed doing to give okay. the real answer. Yeah, but the real answer is like, well, you know, here's, here's what I'm doing. <laughs> here's what I'm doing to survive. And you know what? That's okay. I'm opening a red red wine and yeah. I'm listening to the dang news and yeah. sitting there folding clothes. Like, what is happening? So it's the real me? answer to that question. Yeah, there you go. It's the real <laughs> answer to that question. How are you doing? <laughs> See, it all comes full. There you go. <laughs> Got your suitcase by the door 
Thank you. We're going to do a holler and a swaller. So on the count of three, hold your glasses high up in the air and yell as loud as you can when I say holler. Then take a big old swig of your beverage. One, two, three. Holler! And a swaller. Thanks for checking out our music and watching our videos. We are the Crazy Daisies. We are. <laughs> I'm Rebecca Day, and this is my lovely sister, Jen Day Thompson. And for more information, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure to check us out on Facebook at The Crazy Daisies. And make sure to visit thecrazydaisies.com. Mwah! Thank you We guys. thank you all so much. <laughs>